this is the uh, V-jaw jig, and uh, it's a piece of uh, quarter by one by one angle iron that I've uh, welded some support on the sides, and I've also, if you look at this closely, I have taken a quarter inch grinding wheel and gone right down through the center of this thing to give me a little bit more uh, relief overall in the uh, support of the V-jaw. So when you forge this, you can uh, get an idea of how that fits into uh, the, uh, the V-jaw. So uh, I'm going to do this in real time and uh, you'll get an idea of how it's uh, mounted and you'll see what's going on here. So this is it. Pretty simple jig overall. Not, not much involved. It's probably about three inches long. A lot of welding to uh, support the sides of the, uh, of the quarter inch. But, you know, th this gives you a pretty good idea of what it looks like. This is a piece of uh, 5 8 inch uh, round stock that I've already forged out. And it gives you an idea of what you are going to get when you use this jig. Uh, it's pretty simple. It, uh, it has a little bit of a shoulder here, uh, and you can see it right in here, which gives you a little added strength. So uh, the key to using this jig is to try to get the ends, I'm going to move that out of the way, the ends of this thing pretty much equal here and here. Uh, you have to play around with it a little bit. It's not a big deal, and you'll see how it goes in real time. Uh, when we forge it out, but you know this is pretty much what it looks like. I try to use 5 8 inch round because that's what the power hammer tong jig that uh, I came up with works best for, but uh, you know you can make a larger jig and use larger stock, it really doesn't matter, but this is what the end result is on it, and uh, as you can see you know we've got a little bit more strength here in the spine, uh, and if you look at some of uh, Grant Sarver's uh, tongs of off-center uh, products. Uh, you know, Grant really probably makes the uh, best commercial tongs available on the market today. And uh, basically what I did is to uh, copy Grant in, in his design, and uh, because I, I think it's probably one of the best ones going. But anyhow, if you're going to make your own tongs, uh, look at how the pros do it and, uh, and try to emulate that. And, uh, you know, this is what I came up with, and hopefully it'll work for you too. The second part of this jig is uh, simply a piece of uh, a three-quarter square stock flattened on uh, the top side with a piece of half by a quarter welded on it. Uh, pretty simple thing. We're going to drive that down into uh, our, our, our uh, bottom jig, our bottom die, and um, create the uh, V-jaw from that, but you can see what this is like. Just has a simple handle welded on it, not a big deal. Um, easy to make. You know, hopefully there you can kind of see a profile of it. But we're going to drive that down into uh, this die right here. And that is going to make our V-jaw. And that will be on the power hammer. Uh, you can kind of see it, what it's going to look like there. Um, there you go. So I'll, I'll mount this on a power hammer and we'll do it in real time. And uh, the important thing in, in doing this is to make sure that your jaws uh, are aligned properly and, uh, and, getting, and getting this uh, thing centered in the, in the middle of the jaws. So uh, we'll, we'll sh I'll show you how this thing works and how to maybe make a few corrections as we go along. I'm right-handed, so the uh, tongs will be in my left hand, and uh, my uh, top fuller will be in my right hand, as you can see here. So I'm just going to bring it in here and bring it down on those, on the jaws of that tong, and uh, we'll correct for any uh, any discrepancies as we go along before we drive it all the way down. So we'll do it in real time here, and uh, you can see what it looks like.
Okay, I'm gonna give it one more heat and uh, we'll sink it in pretty deep this time. tongs uh, completed from the uh, power hammer tong jig as well as the uh, jig for the v-jaw and uh, they're made out of uh, 5160 uh, spring steel 5 8 inch diameter and uh, as you can see here uh, there's an offset in the tongs themselves to keep the uh, reins uh, in line and what I like to do is change the section of the reins from uh, thin to, to narrow on the back end to give you a little bit more gripping uh, space. So these tongs uh, are designed for one inch square stock and they're maybe 22, 23 inches long. But uh, you know they're, uh, they're very durable and uh, with spring steel you really don't need to do any heat treating. Just simply forge them, uh, bring them up to uh, temperature and, uh, and, and let them uh, sit. Uh, for a normalizing, uh, but they're uh, incredibly durable tongs. I use a 3 8 inch uh, rivet, and uh, you know, as you can see here, uh, this is our V jaw. Uh, if anyone has any questions or uh, problems, you know, please feel free to email me, and I'll uh, do the best I can to help you out. Uh, other than that, good luck and happy forging.